and I hope they ain't late either, man. I mean, we got stuff to do tonight. <laughs> Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And on this uh, Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy that we're getting back into today, we are going to get into another newbie that I have not gotten to before or never heard of, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good time. We are going to get into some Amy Silverberg today. Okay. Well, um, yeah, like I said, I've never heard of this woman before. I don't know what her comedy is like. Don't know anything about her at all. Just know that... Uh, when I see a title that sounds a little bit intriguing, I'm going to go ahead and see what it's all about. And we got one to get into today. And uh, this one is going to be titled, Interpreting a Breakup Text. Hmm, yeah. Now I know why I picked this one. I have no idea what the hell that title means. <laughs> I mean, it sounds pretty explanatory, but this is comedy, so you know it's probably going to have a couple hard right or hard left turns. But we're going to figure it out. So, uh, Amy Silverberg, you are on deck for a uh, review and reaction. And let's go ahead and get into it. Amy Silverberg with Interpreting a Breakup Text. And if you like this reaction, please put it on the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell. And, of course, leave a nice comment for your boy. Uh, constructive critiques. Leave a nice suggestion or request. And uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, zingers at me. Friendly dialogue. No drama here. All right? Just letting y'all know what the deal is. So yeah, there's a little bit of noise outside, man. We got some uh, workers doing something in the house next door to me. If you hear a little something, something, try to pay no mind to it, you know, because I got stuff to handle and I can't let anything get in my way. So yeah, we're here back at it again and let's see if we're going to have some more fun. Let's do it. Amy Silverberg with Interpreting a Breakup Text right here on Eddie BTV, Women's Wednesday. I stand up back at it one more time. Let's have some fun. That's fun. One F word that no one can say is so bad, right? <laughs> All right, let's get situated with this one, and here we go. I teach, uh, this is not my only job, I teach intro to writing at USC. Okay, no, you don't, you don't have to clap. You're not affiliated with the university, are you, sir? Okay, he just gave me such a scary look. <laughs> okay. I teach anything. I teach writing, I teach literature, I teach poetry what they don't tell you in college is that the person teaching you is the only person that answered the email. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know what poetry is. What's a poem? A tweet? A text? A thought? That's what I tell the kids. One of my students sent me his breakup texts. <laughs> He'd saved them on PDF. <laughs> I said, why are you sending this? And he said, you said anything can be a poem. And I said, and? And he goes, I need you to interpret these. Really? So I read it and I said, she does not want to see you again. <laughs> Obviously. And he said, I do not like that interpretation. No. Said, too bad. Yeah, too bad, One bro. of my students uh, at the end of the semester took a shirtless photo of himself, put it on Instagram, and wrote the caption, shout out to at Amy Silverberg for teaching me everything I know, winky face. <laughs> I was like, why do you want to ruin my life? <laughs> exactly. And amazing body. Oh, I can Come say that. On. They're over 18. Okay, edit that out. <laughs> yeah, edit that out. Okay, the wildest part was in this shirtless photo, he was holding a book of poetry by Bogwan. That's the cult leader from Wild Wild Country. I was like, dude, I did not assign that. But I will read it. <laughs> I teach a class called the Literature of Los Angeles. That's an easy one. Every class I teach is easy. <laughs> That's oh, really? an easy one. All the students have to do is just turn in a quote from a book about LA. <laughs> just a quote. One of my students turned in the following quote. At least I have her love. The city she loves me. Lonely as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Together we cry. <laughs> You guys know what that's from, right? <laughs> Under the Bridge, it's a Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Oh, okay. I was like, this okay. isn't a book. <laughs> he said, this is a song book. <laughs> I was like, am I such a bad professor? They don't know the difference between a book and a song? Yeah. And I was like, it's Under the Bridge. The least you could have done was analyze it. It's actually about a heroin addict, Under the Bridge. 
Uh-huh. And he goes, under the bridge? I thought it was about a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what an Everyone idiot. Everyone an A minus. Everyone gets an A minus <laughs> in my class. Uh. I have a, a nice boyfriend. I've been dating the same guy for a few years now, a dumb hot guy. <laughs> Nice guy. Uh, he works for a professional lacrosse league. Job I didn't believe was a job. Yeah. Till he insisted. <laughs> Thought we had nothing in common on our first date. I was telling him how important books are to me. Reading, writing. And he goes, ugh, reading makes my eyes tired. <laughs> it's like, this is great. I'm sure we'll find something to connect on. <laughs> he has a lot of abs. And I was like, well, working out makes my body tired. <laughs> Of and he course. goes, how about this? I'll train you how to work out, and you train me how to read. <laughs> wow, bro. I was like, are you fucking illiterate? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and why am I excited by that? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> uh, okay, Roe v. Wade just got overturned. If anybody cheers, I will squirt on you. I don't even know if that's a real thing. I will find a way. Roe v. Wade got overturned, which I'm uh, depressed about. I have a cool mom. My mom texted me. She goes, listen, you ever need an abortion? I have a hundred places I could take you any day of the week. But I was like, a hundred places? Also, my mom lives in Orange County, and she goes, 110. Tell your friends. <laughs> and then just text me five minutes later, any day of the week. I'm like, do you work for Big Abortion? <laughs> Who is paying you? Thank you very much. I'm Amy Silverberg. Give it up, your host. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, well, uh, that was an interesting bit right there. Huh. Don't really know how to absorb that one but uh yeah i'll try a little bit more as uh, we continue on with the dialogue that we will have here all right y'all that was amy silverberg with uh interpreting a breakup text mm. well um <laughs> i don't really don't know what to say about this one um first of all man straight up if you are a teacher professor anything like that uh, make sure that you're teaching things that are real, first of all, things that aren't easy, second, and third, something that actually smart, aspiring students uh, want to actually become professional. I, I don't even know if I said that right yet. I didn't go to college, as you can clearly see. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I, I just think it's funny how um, the new times that we live in, a lot of young kids seem to think that they're like a lot smarter than people from the past. I don't really look at it that way, to be honest with you. I just think that things are different in how you learn, but I just think that the way that we learn has made us a little bit dumber. But um, if I'm wrong about that, somebody school me. I'm pretty dumb myself, so what do I know? But, <laughs> um, you know, I, I think that um, I don't like it really, the idea of um, teachers and students being so like, you know, spending too much time with one another or even that kind of um, access to one another. I think that's kind of creepy. I think that the way the internet is and social media has allowed that to happen and it's not a really good look in my opinion. But yeah, as long as the teachers keep their uh, you know, hands to themselves, I'm pretty sure it might be okay. Men and women, you know, we already know that the dudes can be creepy, but it's not as much publicized that the women are pretty creepy as well. But um. What she said in there and got a laugh kind of like registered with me a little bit like me. I read, I write, I spell, and I, you know, understand that stuff very, very well. But the thing is, I don't read often at all because it's not really stimulating to me. Um, I know that people will say something to the effect of, well, you're just not, you don't have any depth as a human being. You have no imagination. I'm just like, well, that is your opinion and you are entitled to have it. But no, nah, it's just... Once I figured it out, you know what I mean, how to read, write, and all that, you know, I became just more stimulated by visual things, you know, it's just, you know, it's like I, I see things on uh, movies and TV shows, and that just seems more stimulating. Doesn't mean I don't know how to fucking read, man. I just, <laughs> I like to ingest my information from other places, man. I read some, uh, I read a book or two ever so often. It's just not my number one go-to thing to do, and I don't think that's really a big problem, you know, but... 
if you're somebody who doesn't know how to read, then I'd say you got a problem because now not only do you lack, lack depth when it comes to that, but then what is it that you think you're processing by what you're watching on TV anyway? You know, that's just kind of like the little thin line, you know what I mean? And the little lack of balance when it comes to that. But um, yeah, man, I think that, you know, this, this bit re- right here just kind of lacked the humor really I mean she was a pretty funny woman you know I'm not gonna say she wasn't funny but it's just like it was kind of like an awkward bit you know in a way but um one thing about me when it comes to um school is that school is a very scary place for me because I don't I didn't thrive in school it was like the worst thing that ever happened to me you know I had the worst times of my life in school believe it or not and it's just like a really I have a complex about it you know I didn't really get everything that I was supposed to get from school, which is another uh, dangerous thing. But hey, I managed to pick up some pieces as I grew up and, you know, rounded out some things, smoothed some things out. And uh, I like to think I'm pretty okay. At least I hope so. <laughs> but um, other than that, man, there's not, not really much to unpack with this one. Uh, other than the last thing, um, I am not a woman. So obviously, anytime a dude comments on anything that has to do with Roe v. Wade, abortion, or women's rights, or anything, we're looked at as demons or idiots or whatever. So, you know, I'll just say, hey, I ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> but to have a mom say that she knows a hundred different places to get an abortion, I mean, like, hey, man, we need to rely on these old school women, man. School us, make sure we have a, a uh, well, not us, we, who am I talking about? Make sure the ladies have something to fall back on so that way. It's not such a harsh, even more harsh reality about the women's rights that are being taken away. But I got many ways to um, express my feelings on that, but I'll pump my brakes on that until a later date, you know, when I have a little bit more of a bigger audience. But very funny. I mean, I mean, it, not so much, not so many jokes, just like, you know, a few little um, tidbits of information about certain things that she does. She said that she teaches. So how do you go from teaching to being a comedian? You know, is that really an exclusive thing, you know, that um, that I'm not aware of? Are very many teachers comedians? I don't know. Somebody school me on that. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting bit. You know, Amy uh, Silverberg's a pretty funny woman. I like how she came at the topic she came after. And uh, who knows, if there's anything else from her that I can get into one day, I think I'd like to tackle it. So yeah, round of applause, Amy Silverberg. Um, obviously, I don't have the sophisticated mind to, you know, process your comedy, you know, to the best of my abilities because I'm kind of a numb nuts. But yeah, I think uh, a lot of what you had to say in there was pretty funny and I uh, can't wait to get to another clip from you. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there one more time. Uh, Amy Silverberg with Interpreting a Breakup Text. And if you like that reaction, please put on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Don't need any of that, so please keep that in mind when you watch this channel. So yeah, this is going to be Eddie BTV wrapping this one up one more again here. Interesting uh, bit, you know, for Women's Wednesday today. It's like I told you, I come after uh, titles of bits as opposed to like knowing the community. I like to get to know as much new stuff as I can, but sometimes I'll run into a few walls. I mean, in a way, I kind of ran into a wall with this one, but she still has her way of getting her jokes out, and it's uh, pretty damn cool. And uh, yeah, a teacher that does comedy. Let me, let me know if there's a lot of comedians that I don't know that teach, you know, because I've never really... I've never really... Um, investigated that thoroughly enough but as far as like the title in and of itself is like you know I think text messages are not something that are so deep that they need to be interpreted by a college professor all right so whoever did that and by the way the the shirtless picture on Instagram please man some of these social media platforms need to go because of what they're used for by idiot people but you know that's a whole nother argument right there but um yeah man I don't think college should be easy I think that it should be it should be a harsh a hard road to go down if you're looking to become a real professional at something but the way that i understand college to be for many different people that i've spoken to about it it doesn't seem to be something that's really hard anymore and that's kind of scary to think about as well or maybe i'm just reading the whole situation wrong y'all school me on that because i'm pretty sure i got some scholars out there and some college educated people out there that can uh you know educate me on some things and uh, hopefully you guys do that without clowning me too much. I mean, throw a couple jokes at me, like I say, man. But don't rub it in too much, man. Because I got feelings, too. 
So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, uh, excuse me, thank y'all for tuning into this one one more time with me. Um, maybe there's another one from Amy Silverberg in the future that might have a few more different jokes. You know, subject matter seems to be pretty deep for numbnuts like me. But hey, man, can't win them all, can you? <laughs> so yeah, thank y'all for tuning in, and until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.